What's up guys, this is my iPhone 7 Plus after one year of usage. Notice all of those deep scratches. I mean, this thing is a scratch magnet. That's why I wanted to see, are the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus models more scratch resistant this year than last year's model? I didn't really have a great experience with that, so I wanted to do a variety of tests from some basic scratches using my scratch chamber here to an actual Mohs meter, where we're gonna go ahead and see the material scratch resistance of this new glass that Apple is touting to be the world's strongest smartphone glass. And we don't know if that's against drops, if that's against scratches, so that's why I want to measure that today. Anyways, eeny, meeny, oh wait, this one's broken, you're out. Uh, I'll just choose you. So the survivor of our iPhone 8 test for the water resistance. Uh, still working, still in great shape here. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the Mohs hardness test and uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this one. We're gonna go ahead and test the rear, the front, the actual sensor, and the camera sensor over here. And compete it with an iPhone 7 that's also in fantastic shape here. Let me wipe that down. So it's pretty much in like mint shape here. So we're gonna do the same tests on both. We're gonna start with number two, which is a very soft one. I mean, it's practically plastic here onto the rear shell. There's nothing there. Rear shell of this one, nothing there. And moving on to number four here. So this one's definitely firmer. Still nothing on these, nothing on these. Let's try the camera lenses. This is a sapphire, so it's gonna be probably around an eight or nine in the rear. Nothing still. So pretty scratch resistant to your basic stuff. There's one and that does wipe off, so. Interesting. All right, cool, pretty scratch resistance. Let's go to the five now. Camera lens, nothing back. Ooh, yep. Number five is where the aluminum shell on the iPhone starts getting affected. And uh, so the first one I scratched, it did leave it there. And this one here, nothing. So it is more scratch resistant, at least uh, against aluminum, so on the front. Let's try that again. Nothing for the glass. I think it's gonna take a few more levels for it to start affecting this. So five is a no-go. Let's try six here. Ooh, that definitely feels like it's digging in a little bit. So let me wipe that down. They're exactly in the middle. Yeah, very fine abrasions. It does leave them and they don't wipe off. So. A six is uh, where the iPhone seven stops. All right, so let's try the same number six on the iPhone eight. Oh, wow. It does not leave anything on this one. It does. As you can see, there are micro abrasions left on the iPhone seven, which are not present on the iPhone eight. Let's try the same six on the Touch ID sensor. Nope. Nope, definitely doesn't dig in just yet. And, uh, the back camera. Nope. Oh, ouch. That really starts to dig in on the number seven here. Ouch. So those are non-removable and nothing for the seven on the back. Uh, it doesn't affect it as much as I thought it would, but definitely leave some scratches. Let's see on the eight. Wow. Whatever this is, it definitely has more resistance to this. And there are some fine scratches there, but they mostly wipe off. So touch ID sensors, sapphire, nothing. And lastly, number eight and number nine. So on the display, oh, ouch. This really digs in, wow. That's crazy. So this is the Topaz and wow. Let's try it on the iPhone eight, yep. That gets it, definitely. It scratches right into that display. Holy crap, I've never seen that before. How easily this scratches, cool. Let's try the Sapphire sensor. Yes, this does scratch it. It's leaving little lines there. Same over here. So uh, on the back, ah, <laughs> yep. Camera sensor, yep, scratches it. So. This is the same, and the back. Let's try scratching that. Yeah, ooh. Yeah, definitely scratches that one. It doesn't take much pressure to do that either. 
Okay, so we don't really have to go to number nine, but this is one grade more scratch resistant than the uh, standard iPhone 7. This can resist a six, where this one can only resist a five. All right, so let's do something a little less scientific and just throw it into a container full of bolts. See how the screen and the shell, everything looks after that. Starting with the iPhone 7 here. flip the phone upside down here. And uh, let's take a look. It's quite dirty. Ooh, look at all those scratches where all the oils from these and like everything stained into where it scratched it. All right, and yeah, a lot of fine scratches there. Definitely stuff that won't be coming out. So the iPhone 7 is not too scratch resistant for this. Let's throw in the 8 with more glass. All right, and the front. Okay, rust dust. <laughs> so for the front, actually, there are not that many. There are some fine little scuffs, but it's not as bad as the iPhone 7 Plus was, or the iPhone 7. And it's gonna be a little hard for you guys to see this, but definitely not as bad. For the back, um, actually, it looks brand new. Oh, a couple tiny ones down here. So. I would say the iPhone 8 scratch resistance is a grade higher than the iPhone 7s, especially the back. Uh, for most scratches, you're not gonna get the same ones on the iPhone 8 that you would on the softer shell over here. So very impressive. Well done with the scratch resistance. Even the sides aren't as affected here. Overall, pretty cool. And uh, I would still recommend you guys use a case, of course, but if you wanted to rock it naked, it, I think it would do a little bit better than the iPhone 7. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Peace.